everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a very large luxury unboxing video. I've got handbags, I've got shoes, I've got multiples of each, I'm so excited. I recently went to New York City, that was the last video that I posted. We did luxury shopping, I got a whole like hair makeover, which I've been loving. But I do have something from Louis Vuitton, I've got something from Gucci, some handbag, just a lot of stuff. So um, before we get into that though, I do have a couple administrative things to tell you. Number one, go follow me on Instagram because I am really trying to put more time and effort into that. I'm doing really cool videos and I don't know, I just feel like the last couple of years I've been kind of lacking, I guess. I just haven't put as much effort into it as I should just because I love YouTube so much, but I really love Instagram as well, so I'm trying to build that up. So go follow me there, I would really appreciate it. Number two, um, this is the other strap option that you do get with the Shea Whitney watch and I've been getting a lot of questions about it and how to style it and what it looks like, so I wanted to wear for this video. I think it looks really, really cool with this shirt. I obviously love the leather version as well and you do get both. So just FYI about that. Um, and then finally, right now, as we speak, my dream walk-in closet is finally being installed and oh my gosh, guys, it looks so good. I cannot wait to show you. I'm gonna probably break it up into two different videos showing you guys the whole process, the before, the after, how I organize everything. And I just can't wait because it's turning out so much better than I expected. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's just jump into the video and I'll show you all of the pretty things that I recently picked up. Okay, so per usual, I never know where I should start. Like I said, I do have handbags and shoes and I'm really interested to see what you guys think about everything. The shoes, I, I love the shoes. They are polar opposites, but there's one reason that they're kind of similar. And so I'm like, oh, should I, ha should I purchase both? But I think I'll wear both, so it's fine. But I'm gonna start off with a bag. Um, this is actually from My Teresa. Everything that I show, I will link down below and I'm also going to try and find some pre-loved versions. All of these are, are new, but I, I do think that there's some really good pre-loved deals out there because I was looking them up before I filmed this video. Um, but yeah, this is from my Teresa and I actually didn't get it in New York City. This is something that I ordered around Christmas time and I haven't shown it to you guys. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Um, I wanted to do it in this video because I knew I was gonna be filming a video, like a luxury video up like soon. So um, yeah, I'll just open it and we'll see what you guys think. It's actually from Saint Laurent and it's my first Saint Laurent handbag. I, I, I love their bags. I, I knew that I eventually wanted one. I just wasn't sure what color, what style, what size. But I think when you guys see this, you will understand why it would make sense for me. So what I picked up is this beautiful gray, college bag, they say it's, okay, it's not really pr pronounced college, I don't know. Like I said, I'm so bad about the names of bags. But anyway, it's in the medium size, so it's not the large. A lot of people purchase the large, um, but it's still a really, really good size, and it has a really nice chain. Let me just pull this out here. Oh wow, it's really wrapped up. All right, so I just took off the wrapping paper and such and attached the chain and I love it. I love how it's kind of like this gun metal chain and I love the top handle here. So anyway, as you guys can probably tell, it is very reminiscent of a Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, but I love that bag so much. My Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse has been amazing. So I wanted something similar, but it's just a totally different style, a color scheme. It's just a different vibe in general. But the the inside is very, very, very similar. And I love how it is just a magnetic closure and the magnetic closure, it's pretty tough. So, so that is nice. And there's a little pocket back here, which I love, especially for my cell phone. You can wear it crossbody. I can carry it top handle. I just really thought that this would be perfect for me, especially since I don't have any gray bag whatsoever. And gray is still a neutral and I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Alrighty, so now we're going to unbox something from good old Gucci. You guys know that I love Gucci. Uh, uh, but yeah, I wasn't really expecting to purchase this. I feel like they've been around, I don't think too long, but I instantly fell in love with these. So yes, they are a pair of shoes. I cannot wait to show you. Oh my gosh, I, I know I keep going on, but I really, really love them. Okay, let me just take them out of the, the plastic so you can get a really good look at them. Okay, so what I purchased are these beautiful Gucci loafers. And oh my gosh, I just, 
I, f I fell in love with them instantly because of the color and how comfortable they are. So if you remember, I don't know, a lot of you maybe haven't followed me as long, but about a year ago, I tried to bite the bullet and I purchased, I did purchase Gucci loafers that were just in the classic black, but I actually returned them because I just didn't think they were that comfortable. And I ended up buying a pair of Sam Edelman ones, which were only like $100. And I thought they were more comfortable than the Gucci version. And that was fine. Like I, I don't have to have designer everything. Like that's totally fine. Um, but these, these are not leather. These are, you know, the canvas fabric and they, I'm telling you, they are so, so, so comfortable. They're a little bit cheaper because they're not leather. And I just love how they're like a neutral color palette. And obviously on top, I'll like, even what I'm wearing right now, it would look really great. I do wear a size 37 and a half. So they are true to size. Cause that's normally what I am, but I just love the neutral palette. I mean, they're still like, bam, they like make a statement, but they are neutral. And I feel like you know, I can wear them a lot because a lot of times, you know, things I'm wearing on top, even the sweater, it's a little bit more subdued and then I can easily make a, like a cool statement with my shoes and they're flats. To me, I feel like over the years, I'm gravitating more towards designer flats because those are just what I am actually going to wear when I go through my closet. I'm not going to wear heels all day long. Sometimes I do, but it's rare. So I think this for me was a great purchase and I can't wait to wear them. So the next item that I picked up is another handbag and it is by Givenchy. This is another brand that I don't have and I especially love it for the color. I've been wanting a bag this color it just in forever. So let me just show you. It is the Givenchy Antigona bag in the maroon or burgundy patent leather. It's kind of like a textured patent leather and it's in the mini size. So, oh my gosh, I just, I think it's so beautiful. It's just, it's just such a stunning bag, especially in person. And again, the color is just really, really what sold me because for the last couple years, I've really wanted a burgundy bag. It's kind of like a winter fall bag, but I just, you know, when I'm picking up my outfits around that time. I always want something this color. I just haven't, I just haven't found exactly what I've been looking for. And there is a Lady Dior bag. You probably saw me try that on in the New York City vlog. And there's just, it's like, that's kind of what I thought I might end up getting. And that's probably more classic. It's just, there's something holding me back from the Lady Dior bag. And I just don't know what it is. But this to me, it's just so stunning. And it's surprisingly, it's deceivingly small, but yet it holds so much. So shout out to KW Shops here on YouTube. She recently did a review on this bag. Hers is black and she she loves it. As soon as she did that review, I was so excited because I was like, yes, it was just a great video. And it was just like validation that I picked a really good bag. Um, but yeah, I, I love how it's small. It's a crossbody. It's very similar to the bag that I just like the Saint Laurent that I just showed you in the fact that it is a crossbody, but it's totally different style and color and vibe. Um, but it holds so much and the zipper is so smooth. It's just, yeah, I just really love it. Can't wait to wear it, like everything else. <laughs> Alrighty, now we are on to Louis Vuitton. These orange bags make me, it just, it turns blue. See, I'm blue. Fix, fix. Okay, I'm back. I'm not a Smurf anymore. But anyway, what I picked up is in this orange box and I, I literally, this is what I wanted to buy when I went to New York City. This, my, my store, my Louis Vuitton store doesn't have it. The internet, like on their website, they don't have it. I thought it was in New York City and I was very pleasantly surprised that it was. However, there's one aspect to this item that, guess kind of bothers me and you'll understand when I show it to you. Let me just show you. I love them. I love it. I love it. I've been wanting it for a long time. This is, it's been kind of around for a little while. I know I'm prefacing, sorry. Opening. So like I said, they are shoes. They come in two bags for each shoe. How bougie is that? Okay. So what I got are the Louis Vuitton Wonderland Flat Ranger boots and I just love them so much. And okay, so this, this clearly not everyone is going to like these. That's fine. I full, I, that's fine. I honestly, for the longest time, thought I wanted them in just solid black, but they just remind me of my Chloe Susanna boots because it's black and gold. And I, like, I'm not normally a fan of like the Louis Vuitton canvas on a shoe. Like, I never thought I really liked that. I've, I like it in a bag, but in a shoe, not so much. But just over the months, it's grown on me so much. And I, I just love boots in general. I love how they're flat. I just, 
I just love them so much, but again, it is like a lot of logo. And so that's why I just found these at the end of the trip when I had already purchased the Gucci loafers that are like Gucci logos, you know? And I'm not normally like, I need logos, you know? Like some people think that is so tacky and that's that's totally fine. Um, but I just really, really like these shoes and these boots and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them. And again, they're different, totally different than, you know, the Gucci loafers different style altogether. Oh hey, it's me again. Um, future Shay filming B-roll and trying things on. I wanted to tell you guys something really quick though. Two things that I forgot to mention about these boots. These are seriously the most comfortable boots I've ever owned. They are so much more comfortable than my, my Chloe Susanna boots, which I love those already, but these are, these are just so supportive, which they should be for the price. Um, but then I also wanted to say um, just how you buckle these is really cool. So you just tie them up like that and then there's the little LV for Louis Vuitton and you just turn it and it locks it. So FYI, back to the video. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess that is everything that I picked up. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you back and stay tuned for my closet videos. I, oh, I'm so excited about that. Um, but yeah, let me know, comment down below um, what your thoughts are about this stuff. If you liked anything, if you didn't like it, maybe just your favorite item. I like to kind of see what you guys think. I just like your opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!